This video covers first-time setup for Time Manager. The options discussed here are explained more fully in our Time Manager User's Guide under Manager SE Help Documentation. There are two ways to open Time Clock Setup. Select Configurations, Time Clock Setup, or click on the Users icon and select Time Clock Setup. This access can be password protected as discussed later in security. Once Time Clock Setup has been selected, the current activity screen will display. As discussed in the overview clip, this screen is used by managers to track daily activity. Click on the Settings option. This is where the manager responsible for this configuration process will enable Time Manager features for use in the shop. The Time Clock Local Area Network Address, or URL, for employees' mobile devices to connect is displayed. These devices must be on the same local area network as Manager SE to communicate. It might take a couple of seconds to populate this field, so please be patient. The port number can be changed. Most shops will have no need to do that. We'll refer back to this URL when we connect mobile devices. Employee Shift Time Card Settings if Shift Clock is to be used, check the box to make it visible on mobile devices. Additional settings include default date range for viewing time cards, weekly, bi-weekly, or single day, and work week start day default set to Sunday, adjust as needed. Technician Job Clock. Check the box for job clock to be visible to technicians on their mobile devices. Employee Access Setup is where usernames and passwords are managed to access the shift clock or job clock screens according to employee roles in the shop. Name and position are populated from Manager SE. These cannot be changed here as they are defined by Technician Setup. Any existing phone numbers and email addresses stored in Manager SE will be displayed. Any changes or additions made here will be saved in the SE database. Once the usernames and passwords have been recorded, return to the Settings option. Clicking on Print Address QR Code and using the mobile device's camera to capture the QR code is the fastest way to configure mobile devices to communicate with the Manager SE database. A browser tab will open on the mobile device to allow login. The employees enter their username and password, and communication setup is confirmed. The URL for Time Manager login screen will be remembered in the device's browser history. Security. New protected areas have been added in program security to ensure proper Time Manager access and privileges for every role in the shop. Security settings will review only apply to managers and service advisors inside Manager SE. Employees and technicians can only access the shift clock, job clock, and associated time cards on their own mobile devices. Using Time Manager in a secure manner depends on your program security configuration. If you haven't yet implemented security, you should review the SE Help text and videos while in the Program Security screen by pressing the F1 Help key. If you already have your program security set up, you can proceed with the steps to secure Time Manager access. The owner manager responsible for program security settings will enter the master password. With the Owner Manager username highlighted above, click on Change Protected Areas and confirm that Supervisor Program Security is checked. This ensures other SE users in the shop cannot access Program Security. Scroll down alphabetically until you see any that start with Time Clock. Check all of the boxes as the master password holder so that you may access all functions. Now that you have defined all of these as protected areas, you may switch usernames and assign access privileges to those areas per username. We've included a couple of examples to contrast the owner manager with master password having access to all areas and perhaps a user profile for service writers with fewer privileges. Modify this approach to best fit the personnel and situation in your shop.